My name is Marion Flatgen. I'm a chemist. I'm a third year PhD student in Dr. Antonio Abad's group and we're working on thin film solar cell technology, in particular perovskite solar cells. And I'm Rodolfo Messi too. I'm uh, mainly focusing now on the um, thin film perovskite solar cell technology. Perovskites are an absorber layer that is used in uh, solar cells and these are especially cost efficient since they are solution based in their processing and therefore it's possible to use advanced printing techniques to upscale them and therefore make them available for industry in the future. I really like chemistry. I saw the need for insights and more fundamental skills in this research field. There are many data already published on device stability and power conversion efficiencies, just following the motto, better, best. Um, but I thought we should approach this also on another level, maybe a bit more, yeah, changing the perspective in approaching a goal, which also needs fundamentals and more chemical insights, and that's why I hopped on the boat. My first day at this beamline here, um, well, I have to say it was not my best experiment, um, but I learned a lot and I was super excited about going to a beamline, I have to say. It's super interesting and since I learned beforehand already a lot about the technique, I was curious to try it and I knew that it's super precious to have so from beam time. So I was really um, having a lot of respect towards the scientists now. Looking back, I would say I learned a lot, I developed and I learned in particular that it's important not only to know the technique and the samples that you're using but also the settings and the possibilities that the beamline is offering. We are really having the chance to work in a unique environment and to use the knowledge and the facilities and the resources that we have here um, to really change the world, literally. And this is what I really think is fascinating and we should sometimes really yeah, see that opportunity what we have. But then you're facing difficulties and then, then you see that experiments probably are not going the way that you were thinking that they will go. And um, you think, how can I set any constant in this experiment since there are so many unknown parameters. But then in the end, you should not take it as a discouragement, it should either be a motivation. And therefore, I really would advise, be curious, but also stay curious. So the best thing about working at a life source is the diversity in general. Apart from the power of light, of course, and the possibilities and options that are coming along with it, I really like the diversity, not only looking on a cultural level, but also, apart from this, this interdisciplinary working experience. At the Beamline, you're meeting people from different fields, from different, well, research uh, facilities, working on other materials and different applications, and you can really learn a lot from that. 